Hello everybody and welcome back to Crypto Time. Now today I have a very interesting video for you. I know a lot of people look for videos like this of what's the price going to be here, what's the price going to be here. I'm going to tell you guys straight up, nobody knows, okay, nobody knows what the price is going to be in the summer. Nobody knows what the price is going to be at the end of 2018, but we can speculate and that's what this video is going to be. It's going to be speculation. I want you to know that and I don't want you to make any financial decisions off my speculation. This video is all of my opinion. So, with that being said, I kind of have to say those types of things, but with that being said, uh, we're seeing a big sea of red today, and I think that's okay. My biggest thing right now is that I need to see Bitcoin hit higher lows, and I think it's okay that we have these pushes and pullbacks and pushes and pullbacks because it's much more healthier than just a gigantic pump. And I like seeing it, but like I said, I need to see Bitcoin hit higher lows every time we have one of these pullbacks. And if it continues to do that and it keeps hitting higher highs, I think we'll see a very healthy Bitcoin and a very healthy market going forward. But with that being said, we're going to be talking about Ripple today. And if you guys didn't see this, this is a Reddit post that I came across where MasterCard partners with UAE Exchange, but guess who partnered with the UAE Exchange? Boom! That's right, Ripple. Now, if news like this came out in like November or December of 2017, we'd be seeing some gigantic price movement. And I really want to talk today about why I think that the market is not as news oriented as it was a couple months ago. And a couple months ago, I think the biggest thing is there was a lot of confidence in the market. There was a lot of confidence in people where they're thinking, I'm gonna put my money in and I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna get a good return on this investment. And there was so much of that just being pumped into the market nonstop that eventually that bubble had to burst. And I'm not, I know that that word bubble is very sensitive, so I'm not insinuating that uh, the cryptocurrency is a bubble, but I'm saying that huge confidence bubble had to burst at some point. Uh, it wasn't healthy for the market, that gigantic pump. So now I think there's a lot less confidence in the market because a lot of those people who invested in November and December 2017 have lost a really good portion of their investment. Like if you imagine someone who, and a lot of people did invest at the top, unfortunately. A lot of people did invest at the top. If you pick out somebody who maybe invested in, in somebody who was new to the market, who invested in Bitcoin at 17,000, 18,000, or somebody who invested at Ripple in the high of $3, I mean, they've lost a really good portion of their investment. There was a point where Ripple was sitting at 80 cents, 90 cents. And I'm sure a lot of those people probably sold on the way down, losing parts of their investment. And just so you guys know for the future, you never want to sell on the way down. Uh, that's definitely something you want to avoid doing. But I'm sure there were a lot of people who did that. So I just think that the biggest thing right now is even though we're getting all of this amazing news on Ripple and, and so many new partners are coming out, which it, it's really insane. I think we've had good news last week or maybe it's the week before. There was literally like every single day some kind of good news came out about Ripple. And that's continued to be the trend throughout. And I think we're going to see that throughout 2018. And I do know that throughout Q2 and Q3, I'm not sure about the rest of Q1, but they are going to be announcing more partners with XRapid. And if you guys don't know, XRapid is what uses XRP, which is a me and you buy, hold, and sell, the thing that we're trying to make money off of. So uh, that's definitely a good sign for Ripple. Now... I really thought that this MasterCard, well, they didn't technically partner with MasterCard, but UAE is part of Ripple, is going to be using Ripple, so you'd think that we'd be seeing a lot of price movement here, but unfortunately, we didn't see that. Like I said, I think a lot of that is just due to the lack of confidence in the market right now, the lack of confidence in cryptocurrency. I definitely think that it's going to be coming back. We're going to need to see stronger moves for Bitcoin. Like I said, we just need to hit higher lows, so if that continues to happen like it's been happening, I can see a good future for us. We just need to get out of this slump. So, seeing days of full red, seeing days of full green, I know it's a little confusing right now. That's okay. We're just in a weird time, and I'm just going to throw it up to that. So, I know this video is titled, uh, What is my prediction my price prediction for ripple coming in june to august of this summer of 2018 and this price i'm gonna throw out is completely speculation i'm basing it off of the hope that bitcoin continues to grow at the rate it's growing at and i could see ripple at anywhere from i will say 250 to four dollars anywhere in between that range i think is would be decently healthy for ripple uh, coming June to August, anywhere between there. Like I said, that price is completely speculation. I'm just throwing it out, comparing it to where it was, uh, say like November, December of 2017, and comparing it to how I think Bitcoin's going to grow up until that point. So hopefully I'm right about that. A $4 ripple would be an amazing to see. Uh, we'd probably pass, well, maybe not, but we might pass Ethereum at that point like we did before. Uh, but like I said, just speculation. This is a speculative video. 
Hopefully you guys got some information out of this though. I know a lot of people are agreeing with me with the whole loss of confidence in the market thing and that's not for me to scare you. I'm not trying to scare you by saying that. I'm just saying from maybe outside perspective of people or, or investors who got in at the top of last year definitely have lost some confidence in the market but it will come back as things start to swing the other way and they are starting to swing the other way so i'm very excited for what's coming in 2018 and i think you guys should be too so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you got something out of it and i'll see you in the next one till then everybody see you